What's going on, Clicks? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey! Back to ladies and gentlemen of the video today, you feel me? All right, we got a video titled, I investigated the city where every drug is legal. Can y'all guess what city it is? Guess what city it is? I'm gonna wait till the video start because they say it like within the first five or six. They, they, yeah, they say it, but I want the chat to guess what chat video guess, it is. People in the uh, comments <laughs> guess. Check. Yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy. He walking. It's crazy because <laughs> they stupid. These niggas. They must know. It's crazy because I experienced this. <laughs> Live and in person, so I, I agree. Hey, people have already guessed it, y'all. <laughs> they guessed it super quick. And then the thing is, I didn't even know. Um, I didn't even know this video was dedicated towards this place when I read the title. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you know, of course, playing like the first few seconds. <laughs> oh man, hey, we y'all are y'all are y'all know y'all must definitely know we're gonna get right into this one when he when he say the place pause it so that way people can yeah 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 for sure, for sure for sure all right let's do this let's do it this is portland oregon this there we go <laughs> there we go someone said this properly <laughs> oh dog ah. fail ah. i was in portland downtown thinking i was gonna go to the <laughs> nike store fail i could not leave my car nowhere i'm talking oh, about God. it was people looking just like this and I told this story before. People probably thought I exaggerated, but this video, I'm sure I'll be able to confirm what I saw downtown uh, in Portland. Shout out to everyone that guessed it. <laughs> Correctly, sure. it was a lot of y'all. Every drug is legal. Drug addiction, homelessness, crime. Perhaps a few side effects of decriminalizing every drug. Or so I think. Many believe this city is a government experiment wow. going wrong. But how did this all happen and what can be done to fix it? Yep. So I met up with Kevin, a social worker born and raised in Portland whose life mission is to save this city before it's too mm -hmm. late. I'm uh, born and raised Portland, Oregon. I've worked in social services a couple decades now, primarily working yep. with the homeless. I have watched as this has grown into a legitimate crisis. I believe we can solve this with just applying a little bit of common sense, a little effort, and a lot of passion. Those are this is wild, bro. Users right there. We're, we're already in kind of the heart of it. In this yep. block radius, e there's at least 50 camps. You're going to see a lot of overdoses out here. I carry Narcan, which is an opioid blocker. Because of Measure 110, this decriminalized Damn. all drug use. It's now just an open air drug scene. Well, smash and grabs are very common. Wow. We have a lawlessness city now. We have cops that can't even pursue they're not even really allowed to because it's not serious enough and we're gonna Whoa. walk across the chinese garden here to an encampment uh in any major encampment there's a mayor which is a homeless person who's in charge of the encampment who i'm gonna inter introduce nah. you to the mayors be a little just do you realize how crazy this shit gotta be you got a head homeless guy <laughs> i'm not laughing at that <laughs> no nah, yeah come on yeah but you got a nigga that's in charge head of the homeless hh Head homeless in charge. Like Head it's it's homeless. this is sick. What what is I never would have known unless you said something about it. I never would have known Portland was like that, bro. I, I never would have guessed that. I mean either. Like driving driving not. further in there just I was more flabbergasted, man. I was just Damn, like, Dame definitely had to leave. <laughs> For <laughs> so. Through the camera until we say hi. So I don't know these two. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Oh, uh, put that. Put that. Whoa, bro. Seen them? You saw them? Oh, that nigga said, said camera, down. camera down. Nigga, you don't even have a house. How you gonna tell me what? The right, and he don't got nothing to lose, so you better put that damn camera down. You're right. <laughs> nigga, nigga, don't got nothing to lose. Who? Nigga who's said, the worst? Put that camera down. Man, you don't have a home. I can go charge my camera. How the hell you go? All right. But Ross, he don't got nothing to live for, fam. You can't fight nobody that ain't got nothing that's just fighting just to fight. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, you guys on our right now. All right, well then, we walk and we walk away. Well, I've been here longer than you, brother. Hey, man, I'm Kevin. Oh, Kevin is bold right now. Oh, did he move? 
Oh, Wait, what the fuck? These niggas the got nicknames. Where JB at? Man, that nigga don't live, live here, here no more. more. Lord k 9 get the fuck up out of here, bro. I am done, bro. Who the fuck is K9? We don't know, man. Or he left his K9. Oh no, I, I gotta, I gotta, bro. He These was crazy. These niggas got a whole civilization. Oh, bold right now. KB, KB don't live here. Oh, did he move? He's K9. Now get off. Wow. Let's go. You are the boldest man I've ever met. Oh, right. I'm gonna be honest. So what it appears is that we have a leadership change, and I, I noticed that right away because I didn't recognize them. The new mayor's been reelected. He, he reelected, or he's he left. He left. You know? He, he can either be reelected or he just. This is my area of the bridge now, nigga. The fuck up out of here. So if y'all want to be a mayor and you don't feel like you can go about it the professional way, you can become reelected. The homeless, it's why. How they voting? Like, what's the? I don't know. What are the terms like? I don't know. What's the likelihood of him using physical violence to beat her up? Yeah, I'd, I'd say there was a high likelihood. Yeah. He, he did have his knife out, and luckily we got away. Yeah, I've been here multiple times the last couple years, uh, and I've built a really re a strong rapport with these people. And I've I've only been gone here for a week. Uh, I know of a homeless camp that's about a mile and a half from here, and he a guy has shotguns in the trees where if you step the wrong place, it's going to shoot you. And this was the moment I realized Kevin is insane. How can he do that? This ain't his fucking world. Bro, what the fuck is going on out there in Portland? What in the wild, wild west is going on? Man, you homeless. You can't just These go niggas to set up some... booby traps. <laughs> <laughs> For what? We ain't about to take your... Well, you know, other people may take the tents. Other homeless people, you know it. Hey, guess the, the name of the title with the booby traps and all that. And they homeless. Homeless alone. <laughs> you stupid, bro. You're part of the problem. Homeless alone, y'all. He said that. Not me. Homeless. <laughs> homeless alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Let's continue this video. I'm so sorry. Many other times oh. I've been stabbed twice. What? I've been punched multiple times. I've had needles. Hold uh, on, Phil. Hypodermic needles, so I had to get tested for HIV. Wait. What? Oh, bro, what are you? That's that white people stuff. I keep telling you. There's too much going on, bro. This nigga didn't been stabbed with needles, like cut, punched, <clears throat> and you, bro, leave these motherfuckers alone. I get it. You're trying to do a good cause, but hey, I don't he, know, he's man. Still going back, being aggressive, like nigga, you didn't. God trying to tell you, fam, like bro, leave them people alone. Ah, oh, bro, what the hell? I had a guy try to cut my head off with a machete last year. He chased me full speed, and the only reason I lived is because I dove last second as he swung. And after we called the police and he was arrested, he said, I was trying to kill you because I wanted to be murdered by the police. So I got hit once. He was upset I was filming. When a nigga said, I just wanted to kill you so the police could kill me. You know what? When a nigga say, put that camera down, I'm just walking the other way. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm out. I'm out, Sam. You're right. Niggas ain't got nothing to lose. <clears throat> Never mind. Never mind, bro. Never mind. Never mind. Him, the reason why I was filming him is because he was committing a crime. Right? Punched me again. Knocked me to the ground. Uh, Damn. In the head. Got kicked. And then he walked away. This nigga say he was committing oh. a crime. You're a patient guy. You, gotta yeah. say. you know, they're hearing voices, command voices that might say, I need to kill Tyler. After hearing how many times Kevin's nearly been killed out here doing this, we went downtown to talk to some drug addicts to figure out how this all happened. So what's going on here? Is this fentanyl use? Well, I'm going to go talk with him really quick. Oh, this looks like someone's tripping, potentially. Uh, okay, say, I'm going to go. Friends, I was wondering if you would want to talk to him for a second for $5. Is this something you would want to do, dear? Like you're giving him money no? okay. to talk? So this is, uh, you know, she is severely mentally ill. She's holding a fentanyl pipe. And as oh. you see, her pants oh. are completely down. Oh, I see. I did not notice that. And, yeah. you know, she really is someone who needs serious mental health treatment. And okay. it's not she's not getting it out here. So fentanyl has completely replaced almost all other drugs. Yeah. yeah. Really no, nah, bro. Fentanyl. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gotten it's, to that point. I don't know if y'all heard about the, I think it was like two individuals. Oh, no. Yeah. They were trying to smuggle fentanyl and they ended up getting caught and they had enough fentanyl 
to kill millions of people. It was like because it only takes like a very small a small amount to kill you. Yeah, but they had enough yeah. to kill millions of people. I was gonna do the rock thing, but that ain't the. No, no, nah, this is not the top. <clears throat> this is this is fucking yeah. Fentanyl is like the new crack epidemic, but way worse and more lethal, it's bro. Deadlier. Yeah, it's way. Yeah, and people don't know how to. You, yeah, it's just terrible. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah. The last couple of years started. I think we think in Philadelphia. Origin point is Philadelphia, Kensington, where we went. Um, yep. That's when we believe Trank and Fetty really started there. We just because you use needles. So what's going on here? He seems to be symptomatic. So I'll go say hi to him and see if I can offer him a cigarette. Right? These two what, 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 wait, tripping. it's like the danger. He gets attracted he, to, to the it, danger bro. when a nigga flip out. Oh, let's go talk to him. No. Leave that nigga alone. Yeah, bro. More of the story, don't do drugs unless your doctor advises certain ones for you. Yeah. yeah and just... it don't help his name is Kevin. Kevin, homeless alone. It all comes yeah. fucking together. Yeah, and right in front of, you know, a bar and grill. Now, this is what you were seeing downtown. Businesses yeah. around here are closed down because just like of the this, crime, bro. because of the drug use. This is my friend Tyler. How you doing? I see you're holding a fentanyl straw. Do you want to share with me uh, when you started using fentanyl? Uh... Almost everybody on the streets now are using fentanyl. Uh, really? Yeah. How long you been out here? A while. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, is anybody out here helping you get off the streets? Nope. Take care of yourself, man. How you doing, sir? So you're doing fentanyl right now, yeah? I was loading some speed. Do you do any other drugs besides speed? Yeah, I mean, I do drugs. Okay. What are we talking here? Fentanyl? Mushrooms. LSD. Like MDMA, MDA, uh, 2CB, 2CC7, 2CI. Jesus, bro. I don't know what that shit is. Body just being destroyed and they can't get off of it. No one's trying to help them. And it's just readily accessible, I'm sure. So they just got a whole bunch of motherfuckers that's on every drug that could fuck you up just out there in the city. Fuck you it. hear what they say, bro? Businesses have to be shut down. Yeah. Because. It's like you can't do anything because it's overran. This is wild, bro. He's just naming a lot of numbers and letters. I've never even heard of this. People out here approaching you and offering help, you know, like outreach workers. So you feel like no one's really giving you help out here? When you're homeless, you, uh, you have to, like, have a, a house to get a job. Sure. You can't do it the other way around. You have to shower yeah. before work. Right. You have to know that you're going to be able to sleep and get up that time. Are you afraid to be out here at night? I mean, sometimes like a week ago, I was sleeping in my sleeping bag, and yeah. I set up someone yelling at me, and he started socking me in the face. I took oh. walk the other day, and they took me to the hospital, and they like kicked me out. And I had an episode where I couldn't even get up at the hospital, and they're just like, "Bye." I felt very underwhelmed and underappreciated. Hold People on, out here. he's breathing unnaturally. You okay, brother? That's crazy. Okay. He's still eating. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, he, 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 he's falling asleep. He deep breathes. Okay. And like seriously, um, yeah. these cold nights that we've had, yeah. if people weren't high out here, they'd die uh, from freezing. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, it'd be real appreciate. cold out the there, don't it? for these homeless seemed brutal, but how did Portland get to this point? That's As we wild, walked the corner, I saw another guy injecting a needle into his arm. Hate Jeez. to see you. My name's Tyler Jay. Good to meet you. Jay, what are you shooting up here? Xylazine? No. No. They're old fashioned white boy meth. Oh, shit. He said good old fashioned. Whoa. He should be the mayor. Oh, he probably the president. He said he's been homeless since 1996. Bro. That's a long time, bro. I was four. 96, bro. That's wild, bro. That's insanity. He been doing this thing. <laughs> How dangerous it is, is it out here on these streets? It's gotten a lot worse. This, just in the last year, I've seen three different shootings where somebody's been shot and killed. Hey, brother. How you guys doing? Number one thing homeless oh. people need. You think it's housing? Yeah, 17,000 ghost houses in this city. And most are telling us that no one's Hold out on, bro. Really hold on. Approaching you all. Still he pulled up kind of clean, though. I ain't going to hold you. This thing ain't pulled up kind of clean. He so. did, though. Like, I've always wanted All right. I'm just saying this was like a serious moment, and he kind of just rolled up. Go back to that roll up for me. 
He just rolled up. It wasn't nothing spectacular. It was like kind of cold, though. In the last year, I've seen Look. three different shootings where somebody's been shot and killed. It hey, was like such a C. Number one thing homeless people need. You think it's housing? Yeah, 17,000 ghost houses in this city. And most are telling us that no one's out here really approaching you all. Stealing everybody's stuff. You have people steal from you? Oh, yeah. 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 Rapid response? They are the worst. Rapid response goes into people's camps. Oh. Two hours to get out. And if they're not out in that 72 hours, they take everything they own and they got to start over again. Damn. Right $3.2 billion? If I had that money, I just bought all those houses and gave it every person. Once you give them the home, what happens next with the drug price? That's up to them. It's going to take at least five years for them to get adjusted. Okay, so what if they don't pay their bills and they fall further into addiction and use the homes? Somebody said that's the risk with dealing with humans. I'm an addict. Yeah, I've been out here uh, 48 years old, off and on. While the homeless here, jeez, bro. Somebody said that's cracked out, Mari. He's stupid, bro. Stupid dog. Jesus, man, that's I did not know it was like that out there, bro. I know we uh in Houston, there's especially downtown, there's definitely like a, a homeless problem. Definitely downtown, you can see the camps and stuff like that under bridge overpasses, but I don't think it's to this extreme. What's I could be wrong, years, bro. Clearly felt left behind by the city. What led to so many of them ending up on the streets in the first place? That is insane. Does your family know you're in here? No? Okay. How old are you? Damn, bro. You know, you can recover from this. You know this, right? You know how to get into a shelter? Try to go into a shelter tonight and see how it works. Will you? Please. With a 22 year old kid on the streets, barely able to speak anymore, Bless Kevin Hart, man. drugs have an obvious and major role in this homelessness crisis. Look at what that, is the bro. city doing to help this? So, Kevin, you said the shelters, so there are places these people could go to. The shelters, you get stolen from more in the shelters than I you see. do out here. You can live in a tent in a park. Or you can go to a shelter where there's 91 bunk beds and one large room with no air conditioning where people oh. are coughing all night. There's oh. some people living right under here, and I just no. want to introduce you to them if they're still here. So it Damn, is. Damn, it smells it. immediately like. I know. Hey there, how you doing, man? I noticed you have a suitcase. Is that what you use to carry all your things? And you move from place to place every night? Yeah, it's just a blanket and some chairs. How easy is it to get your hands on fentanyl out here? Oh, crazy. And you know what this is, of course. Yeah, Have you ever had to use one of these on yourself or someone else? Or? Yeah, somebody's had to use it on me like five times. How many times Damn. are you trying to quit? No, I, I need to be brutally honest with you. This isn't going to land. You're not going to last another year or two out your brother. No, I'm not. You'll be dead in a year if you don't stop. You know this, right? Please. Would you go into a shelter or go into treatment or detox? I, I, go, I go to shelters. And there's a shelter right here. I, I, I know where it is. Okay, right on. So we find we see yeah. a lot of people in wheelchairs with the uh, un unable to walk that are stuck out here homeless. Okay. And they're, of course, the ones being victimized more than anybody. They're assaulted because they can't chase them, run away. Yeah. That. And that's very common, sadly. Kevin, what is this right here? Blanchett House of Hospitality? Blanchett has been offering food to the homeless for decades. Okay. Look, I'm all about helping a person meet their basic needs, but let me ask you this. Yep. If you feed a person 10 years in a row, have you done a meal? Yeah. You got to teach them right. to fish. And out of nowhere, we heard this in the Facts. distance. And I'm like, you know what? That's actually true. Oh. This is neglect. Uh, yeah. Let's go. So that was a gunshot. Okay, let's that go. Was so let's, go. let's go. Hey, facts. Your gunshots out here. Who just got blipped? Well. Someone just got shot, you think? I don't know, but that was a gunshot. Okay, you're used to it. Well, yeah, I mean, you hear him. It was pointed at us? Okay. It did actually come from the camp we were kicked out of an hour ago when the guy pulled the knife on us. You know, murders are common out here. I mean, one way to get away with the murder out here is to call it an overdose. This happened to one of my clients recently is they put two fentanyl pills in his drink and he did he wasn't a user and uh, died of so fentanyl powder uh, and they put it in his drink. Actually, they did it sort of as a joke. He overdosed and died. So we're not going to get fentanyl overdose. There is a 60% um, chance that's not going to happen. Uh, and you have Narcan in case I touch it or Pasha touches it or you touch yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I'm prepared. But tell me about decriminalization of drug use in Portland. 
<sighs> Portland, or really the state of Oregon, decided to decriminalize drugs was because some had argued that we shouldn't make drug use punitive and that we need to offer treatment. And that sounds great. But Portland took inspiration from places like Portugal and the Netherlands, places that successfully decriminalized drugs. But the big difference between them and Portland Ew. is that they had rehabilitation systems oh. in place that they to work before they did it. Kept yeah. things that Portland forgot to include. Recovery, detox, treatment, all that right. stuff that they promised really isn't happening. A person who is using drugs oftentimes have gone through a, a trauma. And so what they lack is rational thinking. And mm -hmm. so people who already have make poor choices are unable to really stop using anyway, but now you've given them the freedom to use as much as they want. Sure. Yeah. And that's terrifying. But why did the people of Portland vote for this? So we went to Fentanyl Fountain to ask the locals their opinion on the decriminalization of drugs. Not Fentanyl Fountain, bro. Oh my God. They don't care. There's no way you can yeah, care about the no, people, you bro. You cannot. Your city, you know this shit is going on, bro. You supposed don't give to a fuck, bro. You supposed to get all these people off the street and get them in somewhere immediately. This is like a mandatory evacuation of the streets and actually have somewhere for them to go and to recover. Like, bro, when people can shoot you, kill you and all that and then just blame it on the overdose, like fam, you're you're feeding the problem. Yeah, they don't care, bro. This is the fountain. Now, of fountain? Course, any other day of the week, it's going to be a completely different scene here. Does it get uh, worse throughout the week? Yeah, they come here Friday night and just and sweep everybody and clean it up. Yeah, and then the vendors come here and you know set set up shop. How long you been out here in Portland? Yeah, almost twenty years. You were here from before and after decriminalization. I was, okay. I was, and I, I, it got progressively worse for a number of years. But um, they're definitely cutting the meth with fentanyl. Cause there'd be people running around that were really happy in the morning, just losing their. Sh the afternoon yeah. how does this place change after today there are quite a lot of okay. wandering people who don't have homes that do spend a lot of okay. time here definitely have seen um a lot of downtown businesses really struggling not necessarily with the legalization of drugs but just people camping in their doorway um yeah. you've been in portland for yeah. many years all my whole life. okay yes. got it so you've seen portland before decriminalization and after sure have you seen any impact on downtown or Okay. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Oh, okay. Yeah. You too. Okay, we're noticing some general resilience, but um, well, there is CNN about sixty percent of the people voted for this uh, measure. See. They're not going to change their opinion. Uh. I the criminalization of drugs yeah. turned into the decriminalization of crime. You know, when you need help, it, the police don't show up. Do you support the decriminalization of drugs here? Yeah, of course I do, because it's no longer uh, like the jails aren't filling up the junkies. Got well, it. Okay. Yes. Drugs aren't bad. They're just. Preferred for the people that can properly use them. Do you use drugs harder than out here? Uh, unfortunately, yes. I take breaks. Okay. Yeah, not everyone can do that. Out here, yeah, I mean, people are still dying. So I he's died. a functioning addict. So you I'm got hit with an Narcan or? Yes. Oh, what? Oh, so they talking to a ghost. Said it didn't work. Then nigga said, I died I last know. week. Like casually. This, like, I just went to the gym yesterday. Like, nigga said, <laughs> I, I died last week, bro. Yeah. As a casual statement. As if this nigga has multiple lives stored. Got reincarnated, bro. Right there. And the old lady, she was mad because she probably be, you know what I'm saying? You can tell she she get her a little couple of men. She's a functioning. Mm hmm. He wow, died, bro. Came back. I had to have injectable. Okay. And you almost died? I did die. Oh, you died and you were brought back. Does that scare you? Bro, these here, bro. niggas are casually talking about losing their life. And having to be brought back. That's I don't think y'all understand how wild that truly is. I, me personally, I just any type of experience like that, like a near death experience, like would always flip. be something that it should it should flip you. Like, mm -hmm. all right, you know what I'm saying? I need to change what I'm doing. Obviously, something that I'm doing almost took me out. Let me change. But no. Nah. But for a motherfucker to be like, I casually died last week and I'm doing the same thing that got me almost to the pearly gates or whatever you believe in. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing that's going to potentially put me back. <laughs> to fentanyl fountain. It's the holy grail, huh? Fentanyl, fentanyl fountain. You know how they have the, 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 what's that? The 70 virgins? That's where they go. 
Fentanyl fountain, bro. You get fentanyl take a, fountain. Take a dip and swim and all the fentanyl you can you indulge want. in. Jesus. Or does it lead you to be like, damn, I should stop using, or is it just so hard to, to the withdrawal syndromes or whatnot? All three. Yeah, we, we've both died a couple times, so that's why we, we've chosen not to mess with fentanyl anymore. Oh, see, there you go. Somebody. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad somebody was like, we died. It took him a couple times, though, but. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate oh, to get my. the tear subs, Trippy. Oh, thank you so much for that, Trippy. This is really trippy right here, bro. It is. Like I said, we died a couple times. You know what? We we stopped using it. At least he know not to use it no more. At least. Some people I don't think y'all understand. She Niggas once, come out dying. Twice. Like, yeah. it's just a normal thing. Oh, yeah. Heart was gone. I, I was I was flatlined. Maybe they, they brought me the back. Code. They got the cheat code. Bro, what we'll the hit a couple, though. I'm currently unhoused because my wallet, ID, and phone were stolen a few months ago. It is impossible to get an ID uh, when you are homeless. And I want to work a job. I want to live inside. I was thrown out of my parents' house. I didn't use. They kicked me out for being queer and oh. openly coming out to them. Oh, so then I had one sad. argument with her. I told her to F off. The next day, she bought me Whoa. a Greyhound ticket, sent me here. I have nothing. It's been three months since then. I was reported missing by someone on my TikTok account, not by them. They know where I am. They sent me here to be homeless, to die on the streets because I'm queer. I worked at a homeless shelter and came out as a she, they, non-binary, gender fluid individual. I told them she, they. It's no longer she, her. It's she, they. Bro, and then hey, look, look. There were a you, lot of you, you, she, homeless. You shouldn't be worrying about all this shit. Like, come on, fam. You got time to put up a fight. So much to say. Yeah, not man, the right place. That's fucked up. I that's, hate that she's homeless. Yeah. First of all, you went real easy on the f off. Like I couldn't imagine my kid telling me to f off. Yeah, 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 yeah. They think you finna just be chilling, especially yeah, 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 yeah. Especially if you old as hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we can't sleep on that part. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But for I sure. definitely wouldn't kick them out for their sexuality. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, nah. that. I mean, it, she got a couple of arguments in her conversation but it just sucks in general that she's out there like nobody should have to suffer and be like that yeah um, that's where true family a, a yeah. relative couldn't step in like a aunt yeah uncle, nah. or cousin yeah and that's that is kind of fucked up that's, yeah, like, like, that's that's definitely fucked up i ain't gonna hold you bro that's your child still at the end of the day it's your child that's your child fam don't ever that's your child, bro. bro you don't never leave your child abandoned no way no matter what no matter bro you ain't that's, gonna be that's the job off, that's the that's the job of a parent no matter unconditional love, you know what I'm saying? You want the best for them. You may not agree, but sending them out on the streets to die. I'll never, I'll never turn my back on my nah, her, uh, her parents. Her. Definitely. They, they some pieces of shit for that one. I ain't gonna hold you. It's opinions on the legalization of drugs, but the impact on downtown Portland was unavoidable. Baby. How you guys doing? Word. All right. While everyone else was busy getting high, Kevin wanted to show me another camp where someone tried to kill him. Here a few weeks ago, and there was a very unhappy person who tried to physically. Kevin don't want to goddamn live. So that's why I was just saying, be a little mindful yeah. of that. So look at that. You see those two propane tanks? Oh yeah. He no, went back there. Fires. Got it. And the explosions. Hi there. Good to meet you. Just wanted to learn more about this crisis and kind of where we went wrong. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of different Me. steps to that okay. <laughs> issue. Complex. But yeah, like, like. You know, every other person that walks by is asking for Fetty or whatever, and Got it. or blues. Do you feel safe out here? Lately, not so much anymore. Okay. I and why is that? There's stories about violence against women. A little assault and that sort of thing? Or? Well, not just that, like murder, actually murder. Oh, murder, okay. If we were to go out to where we That's went tough. earlier today at night, what would we hear, what would we see? You're gonna hear screams, usually sexually assaulted. You know, I interviewed a homeless guy just a couple days ago. It says, I hear mm. blood curdling screams every night. And the most terrifying thing is when the screams abruptly stop. There is a known serial rapist that has been going to 10 to 10 a night, raping as many women as he can. I've interviewed five different women who have been raped by the same person in the same area. And the police haven't done anything about it? Well, none of the women have pressed charges because they're scared he uh, will kill them. His nickname is The Viper. Life this nigga got a fucking nickname, bro. Oh my god. It's time to take the head off the damn viper then. That's who you send to the cannibals. That's who you let them niggas roast him. Yeah. Slow roast him. Slow For sure. Him, bro. Slow, Slow cook. cook him, bro. Hot, that's hot that's him. who needs to 
visit the cannibals. You need to drug them, put them on a goddamn plane, let that nigga sit with the cannibals. Have at it. You try to do that shit with them. The fuck, bro? I say not Randy. No, <laughs> not that Viper. Not that Viper, no. Why would no. they give him the a homeless nickname? people in downtown Portland? But without reliable housing to go back to, reporting certain criminals means they'll have to return back to camps to face those who assaulted them in the first place. Yep. What about yeah. the homeless people who have moved to the outskirts of Portland? What's going on here? Well, this is the oh, like, I got an RV. long line of RVs. Sure, we're going to yeah. be able to count at least 100 of them. Yep. Do. Yep. Look at all these RVs. Damn. Where are the services to help these people? The fact that there's families out here stuck in RVs in the middle of summer is just really unacceptable. As we drove past hundreds of RVs with homeless families living in cars, I realized that homeless people were living anywhere here to survive. There was a, a couple families living in these tunnels that kind of go underground Portland. Okay, but even among the homeless, hierarchies, status, and power have developed in unexpected ways. All right, we've made it. Right across the way, these are million dollar condos. It's where the homeless live and they have the identical view. It's really incredible architecture. Anybody home? Hello? Anybody home? Snicker Kevin, don't learn, bro. Oh, probably not. Is it risky for us to be here? Well, yeah, I don't want to invade their space too much. Yeah. It's like a machete and an axe right there. All right, let's get out of here. And they've kind of finessed the system by not buying a million dollar property over here and just, you know, building one instead. So this is literally tens of thousands of pieces of driftwood, and someone has tunneled in, and there's a camp inside of here. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> And they have boats right here to go on the water and explore. This is would be like a 600 foot one bedroom apartment. So how many people do you know live in these communities with max capacity? I believe about 15. 15. So this is truly the upper leaf, the Bill Gates of the homeless out here. Full on mega mansion, bike in there. Hi, bro. Come, come on, fam. This nigga said the Bill Gates. Kip. I, I hope Kevin be good, bro. Somebody get yeah. him off the streets too, cause he yeah, just Kevin, walked in there like bro, wouldn't with with no care in the world. Why he didn't get stabbed multiple times and mayor presumably of this community. And what makes this extra special is he's the only one with a peer. Oh, so, it's beautiful. So, this place right here, pristine, beautiful, beautiful, and then a nice access point to a nice little ocean view. The detail. Boy. Look at the bricks. Oh my uh, god! Bro, if y'all don't get the, get the fuck out the damn. They really sitting up here going on HGTV for a homeless spot, a homeless pad. This <laughs> nigga said a homeless pad. Cause, bro, <laughs> a homeless off, pad. Bro. Yeah, look at the look at the brick. MTV Cribs, what's good, y'all? Welcome to my homeless pad. Let me show you how we walk in. <laughs> Don't mind the noise. We outside, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, bro. Oh my god, bro. This is crazy. It's very creative what they've done out here. HG so TV homeless you voted for. Can't we all work together? <laughs> oh, scare the shit out of me, dude. Say if you want real change, vote differently. Yeah. Vote for the candidates. Vote for the people with common sense ideas. The ones yeah. actually make a difference. So, how could anyone watching help you on your mission? Well, um, I have a Twitter page. Nigga, Kevin damn. Kevin Dahlgren, or just type Kevin Dahlgren and homeless, and you're gonna find me. This. And then uh, truthonthestreets.org is my website. Okay. And of course, and I have a YouTube channel called Truth on the Streets. Well, thank you for having us. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Kevin is my favorite dude ever, and is helping make a real change. Can we help him get to 100,000? subs and help him save the city of portland thanks guys no Love for sure hey man kevin out there doing some some great work he better than a lot of us out here because just talking yeah bro so some some people you know what i'm saying they they not even in their right minds anymore the drugs have taken over their body essentially and you know people just kind of just let them die let them be out there as you can see in portland them niggas don't give a fuck no. Both. They don't. <laughs> Dub seen it personally. And this is my first time actually watching a video on it. Yeah, that, that shit's crazy, bro. I have a uh, I actually have a video of me um I think I could try to find it, but um driving mm -hmm. around. And I mean I remember the kids was in the back seat sleeping. Cause mind you, we were in Eugene, Oregon, because somebody said, Dub, why would you go out there? But um mm -hmm. we was in Eugene, Oregon for my daughters, uh that's where they did the track Olympics mm -hmm. uh for the junior Olympics. And so, you know, I had to fly uh, to Portland, into Portland to drive to Eugene. So did the same thing when he came back to, to leaving. We drove back to Portland mm -hmm. and kind of hung out there for the day. But I went downtown because I was trying to go to the Nike 
store. You know what I'm saying? Go, you know, me and Ross are gonna get a pickup. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm gonna be at the actual Nike store. I'm gonna let you know when I get there, so that way if you want something. But I'm trying to find somewhere to park, and I'm like, and Nisha like, nah, fam, because it's like I couldn't leave them in the car because we had all our stuff as we were heading yeah, to the no. airport. So I couldn't leave them in the car by themselves, nor did I want them to walk with me. You know, because I was going to go by myself, but I was like, man, nah, it's, it's too risky. But I'm talking about, bro, every corner you have somebody banging their head, like on the concrete, cement, just outside of the stores, people shooting up. And, you know, luckily the kids were asleep, but when Mariah woke up, she was just like, daddy, why is that man talking to the wall? And yeah, I was trying to explain to her, I said, yeah, sweetheart, this ain't the this ain't the space for us to just be out here lollygagging, especially if we not from facts, here. Facts, 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 um, facts. So yeah, no, it was definitely crazy. Everything in this video looked exactly like what it looked. I think I did see that fountain because I did kind of drive around a little bit more. Because mm -hmm. I'm just like, bro, this is really crazy. Like, this is drug on drugs on drugs. You know, I thought Houston was bad by the Greyhound area. Yeah, no, nah, this this triumph that. Yet. Yeah, no, nah, this yeah. is they 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 have that in spades, man. But yeah, you got hey, a definitely mayor. Yeah. Yeah, nah, this was a, an informative video, man. It was. And it's one of those things to put things in perspective for you guys, like uh, we saw in previous videos. You never know what other people are going through and what they're dealing with. So be thankful for the situation that you're in. It may not be the best, but it's much better than a well, lot of people worse. out there right now. You feel me? So And as thankful. usual, like like what I did, I just said a prayer for those people, man, because, mm -hmm. you know, you never know somebody's situation. Somebody yep. end up on a bad, you know, get a, you get a bad batch of something, chilling with yep. friends, like people pranking, and then you end up getting hooked on something. Yep. Like, and you then, never know why somebody's story is what it is for a while they're out there. Um, so it's like, all jokes aside, like never judge people because you never know what got them in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, and as humans and other people, we should be doing something that get those people help because that's that's dangerous not only for themselves but for people around them and for kids to see as well so keep a prayer uh shooting out to people sure. uh, uh in portland but uh if y'all enjoyed the video you already know what to do make sure you look like subscribe y'all mm -hmm. like when we do these like informative base type style videos let us know in the comments down below we'll definitely keep doing them it's mm -hmm. always good to bring knowledge i know we have a lot of fun but it's dope to bring knowledge and stuff like that to to people as well to to see that you know be aware of what's going on around you mm -hmm. um, but yeah continue to spread love be love because people need it peace out already if you got a problem then we got the solutions and there's no illusion i made this shit happen i'm living life lucid i'm switching my strategies now they hate on me because i'm causing casualties but why are they after me deep inside they know they can't handle half of me